This is Prowl 1701, and we're here today to do a review of the Ultra Sabers Azure Omen. Now, as anyone who's ever seen Thundercats can obviously tell, this is a lightsaber version of the Sword of Omens from the popular Thundercats cartoon. Now, this sword, um, of course, looks like the version from the classic 80s series, not the, ver not the version that was used in the 2011 reboot. Which, I much prefer the 80s look, so that works really well for me. Um, this, this saber is offered in three different models. Uh, the Azure Omen, which Azure is French for blue, which has this blue anodizing right here, all the way down the saber. Then it has the Crimson Omen, which is red. It has the red anodizing. And then the Dark Omens, which has black anodizing right here and is probably the most cartoon accurate of all of them I'm very fond of the saber just because well one I'm a big fan of Thundercats and two just the detail that goes into it is really amazing it's a it's a fantastic hilt it is a bit heavy due to the emitter being so large I wouldn't recommend it for actual dueling but as a display piece it is fantastic lots of detailing and everything in it I have the uh, cat's head on both sides. Now, when you order this the normal way, you'll get a cat's head on one side and the cat's eye on the other. But I specifically requested that both ends have the both sides have the cat's head. Although they also sent me an extra cat head and a cat's eye in case I wanted to switch them out because these discs are removable and uh, you can switch other ones out. Now I got the blade and a Deacon Silver, which is not a color I'm usually uh, keen on. For my lightsabers, I like my lightsabers to have actual color to them, not just be kind of neutral like this. But since this saber is based around a sword, because the Sword of Omens is indeed a sword in the cartoon, I thought it would be really traditional just to get in a Deegan silver blade on it. <clears throat> and it does fit really well with the saber. I got a blue AV switch on it to kind of match the blue from the anodizing. And, uh... To me, the silver and blue actually work well. It's a good combination. You can hear the obsidian soundboard there in the background. There we go. Give you a little look at it with the light on there. It does have some great details on it. Um, I really like these grooves right here. Let me turn it sideways. I like the pommel. It has a nice look to it. The speaker there. Got um, these little grooves right here, which look fantastic running down the saber. There we are. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass my cameraman here the phone so I can kind of show you it in a little more detail. There we go. Now, it's a, it's a large saber, and again, it's got a lot of weight to it. Uh, just because the emitter is huge, absolutely huge. Now, I have a 32-inch blade on mine. Uh, the traditional length or the standard length that comes in is a 36-inch blade, but I'm a smaller guy. I'm 5'6". You can tell I'm not overly large. I don't get confused for Arnold Schwarzenegger a lot. Occasionally, not a lot. But I uh, specifically requested a 32-inch blade. I do that on all my sabers. I always keep 32-inch blades on my saber. Now, some people, since this one has extra weight in the hilt because of the emitter, they might want a 36-inch blade just to uh, balance it better. As you can see, the hilt is it's very top-heavy. The balance point is about there, whereas a 36-inch 36, 36 blade might have a better balance point. But again, I don't duel with it. It's more just a display piece for me. You can see the Adegan Silver. You can hear the Obsidian soundboard. You can see how bright it is, though. Look how well it illuminates in here. I mean, you can see everything. Silver, the Adegan Silver is not a color I normally would have chosen. I don't have any other sabers in it. But I wanted it to have kind of an actual metal blade look, since it is kind of a lightsaber made after a weapon that really is a sword in the base material. Yeah, I love the cat's head. That's the obsidian soundboard you hear. Fantastic soundboard, very loud. Matter of fact, my girlfriend constantly tells me that she likes my stunt sabers better, the ones with no sound, because the ones with sound are way too loud. Different sound effects it does. 
That's the lockup sound. I can wield it slightly well, but it wears me out uh, quicker than most, again, just because of the weight of it. But it's a great saber. I really like it. I mean, I give it like 100 out of 100. It, um, especially for a child of the 80s who grew up with Thundercats, you know, it's a very nostalgic feeling. Uh, hanging up, actually, at my, at my house, I actually have uh, an original 80s sort of Omens toy, that rare sword. I have that, and then I have the 2011 version hanging up right next to it. So I really wanted to add this to the collection. And just the first time I held this in my hands, the, ooh, the nostalgia just swept over me. And even when it's off, since it's supposed to be based off of a sword, it still looks pretty, pretty sharp because it has a silver blade. I went with a mid-grade blade instead of the Ultra Edge because I kind of like, uh, one, I like mid-grade blades better for the most part. They also do an Ultra Edge, which illuminates differently. But, I don't know, it looks fantastic even off of that silver blade to me. Now, the batteries are here in the pommel. The pommel is removable. You just unscrew, unscrew this, and then your battery pack is right here. Uh, most of these just come right out. You can pry the battery right out. If you ever have any trouble getting it out, you can take the uh, end of a flathead screwdriver or a guitar pick and just pop these right out. Put them in your charger, slide them right back in. They do take lithium ion batteries. Um, and uh, the, sabers, the sabers will come with a charger. Just make sure you order it with a charger. The default setting comes with a charger. Oh, there we go. And that screws right back in. Now the pommels are interchangeable with uh, pommels from a lot of other sabers. So you can actually get several different saber pommels on here if for some reason you don't like that one. Also, and I get people asking me about this, uh, they, a, lot of, a lot of people like this. They just don't really care for that. Maybe they, maybe they didn't grow up with Thundercats, but this is actually removable. You can actually take this off. And then uh, put other pommels over. Like this is the uh, emitter, actually. Emitter. You can take this emitter from the Archon and screw it in. And this would probably work better with a Dark Omen since this would be black and it would match. But just to kind of give you an idea, say you like this but you don't really care for the Thundercat emitter, you can actually take that and boom, you have another saber right here. I don't have a blade attached, but it works just as well. Give you a good look at it. Get a good close up there of it. Kind of go up and down it. So you know you have to, you can put any kind of uh, MHS compatible emitter will fit on this. this just using the Archons because that's the one I happen to have a spare of with me. But uh, I really I really like that. It works well. I like that. It's got it's good to hold. I'm really tongue tied today. But it's, even for my, my hands, I've got plenty of room. But I think a larger person would have plenty of room to grip this two-handed to use for sabering with and practicing with. Of course, it's much lighter this way because I don't have that heavy emitter on here. I can actually do spins and stuff. Let's switch back to the other one real quick. Um, I, if... Again, if you, even if you just like this, I'd recommend getting it. It's a really sharp looking hilt. I like the detail on it with the etchings and all right here. Of course, for me, like I said, I mainly just keep my, my Thundercat emitter on there because I'm a big Thundercats fan. And I really thought it was a neat idea of Ultra Sabers to do that. To do a sort of Omen's hilt. Like I said, I give the Saber 100 out of 100. It's, it's, it's really awesome for me. Give me one last look at it. So this is the Azure Omens. I'm probably 1701 and thank you for watching.